we're going to go over the opposite side knee cutter pass. So my partner is just going to uh, have his guard broken. Psh, 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 boom, his guard is broken. Now from here, we're going to uh, lift our knee up. I'm just gonna show it to you in full and then we'll break it down. So I drive the knee down, cut off to the side and go into side control with my head down. So for steps, as I break the guard and I pin his leg down to the ground, I want to drive it all the way down with my forearm so I don't expose my arms. Now when I lift my knee, this is used so uh, he can't replace his guard necessarily. So when I drive through, I'm gonna take my knee and go to the opposite side. I'm going to go towards basically to my other leg. As I do this, I'm stapling his leg down to the ground. If you wanna make this a little bit more comfortable for your partner, I recommend going by the knee rather than by the top of the thigh, but it's, it's your preference. But I'm driving across to staple my knee down to the ground as my foot is still here. Now at the same time, I'm going to drive my far hand up his uh, side keeping my head down on his chest to give him pressure right up to his chest to keep him flat on his back. So again, I pin and I drive and I slide it off to the side and keep my pressure down to move into side control. So the biggest common mistake is not keeping that head down and the arm sliding up into the underhook. So that is your opposite side knee cutter.